I am a product assistant that basically just helps out with some, a lot of the programming that we do at GDB Votes. All the event planning, all of the research, and all the presentations is kind of all our role. I'm from a high school with two small towns that joined together, and during my junior year, there was a risk of the school budget being cut by one of the towns. The students realized that this was a problem and realized that what we had to do was have this, you know, broader discussion between the two towns, and that really looked like school board policy voting. But sort of that moment of like, oh my god, like this is something that I really need to be paying attention to, sort of that was like kind of what switched, uh, turned on the light switch, I think for me. As you know, it's election season, everyone is wants to get involved and we love that kind of spirit. So we're really working with all sorts of spheres of GW. And that really looks at tabling at big events. So that's where either there's an event going on or we host one where we have we'll, we'll have people come in and we'll answer any voter registration or voting in general questions that they have. There's a whole host of resources online, but what I use and what I find most uh, effective is Turbo Vote Election Reminders. I just got text actually yesterday saying that I should have requested my absentee ballot around this time, and if not, I should be doing it. It really is just like, it gets you to the resources you need. And we're reorienting our conversations to talk about what students care about. If you don't feel attached to a particular candidate or a particular party, everyone has issues that they care about. What, you, know, you can see those and make those tangible changes with local officials, and you'll really be surprised how far that ballot can go when you look at what it's doing locally. Um, and that's sort of the, the dots that we're connecting in our work. I think my understanding through my study of like sociology and really critically analyzing political science has, you know, developed um, a different uh, view of voting. I don't know how this looks as like reform. I don't think you could write up a policy and be like, talk to people more. But that's basically what we're doing and what sort of I see myself as doing. It's like, it's just having those conversations and then reorienting, you know, the frame of voting to be this, to be something that is accessible for everyone and to overcome some of the barriers as much as we can for people who are experiencing them. And I think a lot of that comes just through awareness um, and mutual understanding and a feeling of like civic importance and responsibility. My time with like GW Votes and GW as a whole, especially through like my studies, has really complicated some aspirations I've had. If you would have asked me when I was 13 if I wanted to take office, I'd be like, I would love to take office and then make everything good and you know fix everything. And I think that you know my work here, I've I've almost shifted to where that's possible is you know in civic engagement and having these conversations. Um, that's really where the change happens. I want a lot of people in terms of voting to just be met where they are. You know, there's a lot of lack of information when it comes to voting that leave people who, you know, are facing a lot of different barriers, whether that be racially, economically, uh, gender or sex wise, like very absent from the conversation, right? So I think in terms of tangible forms, I want to see people met where they are. And, you know, I think voting starts with education and ability to acknowledge things that you care about and issues and how that relates to the practice of voting. Uh, and in that, that's where they, where we like to see like at least more conversations be had. That's basically what I've been. That's basically a lot of like what our work is is having conversations. My biggest advice, and this is gonna sound like kind of corny, but like please don't procrastinate. Legitimately, like that is the thing that kills voting, and especially for students, they have a million different things coming at them, a million different tasks to do. Their Google calendars look like a splatter painting. I really do want people to carve out the time to do it. And that's sort of where our tabling comes in, is like, if you stop with us, you can carve out the time and we'll help you through this process. I think you should care about voting because it represents a piece of your agency that I think to move forward, the, as much people should take as possible. Not to say that voting is the end all be all and will fix everything, but I think it's it represents a step in that direction. I think, broadly that there's so many ways that you can be civically active and minded and improve your community. It's like impossible to quantify that sort of that sort of thing. But voting gives people a level of agency to sort of pursue and I a further, you know, further society in a way that I think can be beneficial for a lot of people.